Hey, Dan Cochimillo here for NorCal Sports Network. A little video today on the Los Angeles Dodgers and their pursuit of several free agents and how will the Dodgers fare this offseason? Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Chapman Law Group. Check out Chapman Law Group in the description of this video as they can help you in many needs when it comes to legal matters. All right, let's get started with this. Guys, I think the LA Dodgers are going to get Roki Sasaki, as we put out in a previous video. He's now been posted by the MPL. Japanese baseball has now posted or ready to post him. It's been announced. I think it's a slam dunk deal that Roki Sasaki joins uh, Yamamoto and Otani in that rotation, and they have three Japanese superstars that the Dodgers will have in that rotation. And I think it's a foregone conclusion. Now, will other teams get involved and maybe drive up the price for the Dodgers? I could see that. But I think the Dodgers are going to get their man, and they will have a rotation of Sasaki, Yamamoto, Otani, and who else? Who knows who else will be in that rotation? You know, Glasnow will be back at some point. I think Dustin May, if they sign Sasaki, Dustin May gets moves on. They let Walker Bueller go in free agency, but the Dodgers will find a way to load up on pitching and get their guys. Who else will the Dodgers land? I think they are going to land Juan Soto. It that is my that is my uh, dark horse pick. Most people think it's the Mets or Yankees. I think it could be the Dodgers. We look here in uh, Fan Sighted. They had put out an article about the Dodgers and Juan Soto. I've been saying Juan Soto for a while. And I'll talk more about this tomorrow night live on NorCal Sports with Ned Coletti, 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So you're going to want to not miss that. Ned Coletti, former general manager of the L.A. Dodgers and assistant with the San Francisco Giants to Brian Sabian in the late 90s, early 2000s. Ned Coletti will be with us live tomorrow to discuss some of these very things I'm talking about right now in this video. So when I say tomorrow, that means Sunday. Uh, Sunday night, November 10th at 8 p.m. Pacific time, Ned Coletti to join NorCal Sports Network. Guys, uh, looking at this article here um, with Juan Soto, it says the rumors Recent reporting suggested that the L.A. Dodgers didn't figure to be serious players in the Soto sweepstakes, largely due to fears that Soto wouldn't want to come back to the West Coast. But apparently, Andrew Friedman and company have gotten some different intel. Either that or they're very, very stubborn because now it seems that L.A. is set to be very aggressive. <laughs> Very aggressive in chasing Soto. And Mike Rodriguez on X says, according to sources close to the team, the Dodgers intend to be very aggressive in their pursuit of Juan Soto, facing strong money competition from the Mets and the Yankees. Hey, look, the Dodgers are loaded. All three of these teams are loaded. Who's going to land Soto? When it comes down to it, guys, players want to win. Players want to win and get paid. And if they can get paid pretty close to what they might get paid from another team that's not a perennial playoff content, you know, the Mets, they don't make the playoffs all the time. What, they made the World Series in 15? That's the last appearance they've had. In the, if you count 2020, the Dodgers have had four appearances in the World Series, 17, 18, 2020, and here 2024. Uh, the Mets one time, 2015, and they lost to the Kansas City Royals. They haven't been back to the World Series. 
The Yankees just got to the World Series in 24. When's the last time they got to the World Series prior to 24? It's 2009. And they didn't win it this year. They lost to the Dodgers. I see Juan Soto wanting to play with stars and wanting to win. This whole notion that he wants to be the man and the only guy, you know, this isn't, he's not on an island, you know, he's not owning Fantasy Island and wants to be his solo guy to be the guy. Look, he's not the guy in New York. He really wasn't even the guy when they won in 2019 with Washington. They had the pitching of Strasburg, and uh, and then they had, uh, you know, uh, Scherzer, and then you had Bryce Harper, who had left to go to the, the Phillies. But Soto was just up and coming. And uh, you had Anthony Rendon, who was really kind of the, the big guy that year for the Nationals. So then he went to San Diego. Now he didn't. Now he's this is his first chance to choose where he goes. Does he want to be the guy or does he want to win? So, you know, some people out there are talking about him saying, Oh, he can go to the Giants and be the guy. Now, if it's that important to be the guy and never make the playoffs and get your money, that doesn't last long, I'm telling you. Guys get frustrated with losing. If you're an athlete, you know what it's like to lose and you know what it's like to win. And it's no fun losing. So I could see Juan Soto either staying with the Yankees, where they have Judge and others, but I think the Dodgers might be the favorite here. I really could see it. I could see the Dodgers landing Juan Soto simply because they can pay him and they need corner outfielders, guys. Who are the Dodgers corner outfielders? They got Teoscar, but who would you rather have? A 30 plus year old Teoscar Hernandez? or a 26-year-old Juan Soto. I think the Dodgers make Soto the priority. And all the talk about Soto and uh, Scott Boris saying it's going to be a long, long process and it could go into spring training and Soto's going to wait until he gets his deal. That's not the way the Dodgers work. The Dodgers will go off aggressively. And they will get their offer, and they will try to get Soto signed in December. Because if they can't get Soto, they're going to pivot, and they're going to go after. They're going to re-sign Teoscar. Heck, the Dodgers have the money to do both. They can get Soto and Teoscar. So we'll see what the Dodgers do. The other player I think the Dodgers end up getting is Willie Adamas, shortstop for the Milwaukee Brewers. I think there's rumors out there that the Dodgers have already made that offer. I think Adamas will be courted heavily by several teams. But in the end, I'm going to predict the Dodgers get their man. They get Sasaki to strengthen their pitching staff. They get Adamas to shore up the one weak position they had last year, which was shortstop. And remember, Max Muncy is on his last year of his contract next year. And I think there's an option. I'm not sure if it's a player option for 26 or a, or a uh, club option, but I could see them moving off of Muncie. So that's why, and Freeman's getting older. That's why you would want Soto. So you can have him for 10 to 14 years. And then with Muncie leaving, who that leaves a hole at third base, you know, Adamas could end up moving over to third base after Muncie leaves and they can find a shortstop. Dodgers are going to keep moving. They're going to, they could trade Gavin Lux. Look, another guy that I think the Dodgers trade for this offseason wouldn't surprise me to see him go out and get Garrett Crochet from the Chicago White Sox. The Dodgers are not going to settle and they they know what it's like to win now. And they are not going to leave anything to chance to let the Padres or the Phillies or the Atlanta Braves. Take them down. It's going to be tough to repeat because those three teams that I just mentioned, Padres, Phillies, and Braves, are going to be their 
competitors, okay, for the National League uh, championship to win the National League. It's going to be one of those four teams, Dodgers, Phillies, Padres, and Braves. Those are the teams. The Mets could be it. Do you think the Dodgers want the Soto to go to the Mets and make the Mets a possible uh, roadblock for the Dodgers for the next five, six years? No, the Dodgers are set up to win right now. They've got Freddie Freeman for a couple more years. I think they've got him for three more years, but can you count on Freddie for three great years? Not so sure. I think you can count on him for at least two. Freddie's a special ball player. Mookie Betts getting up there, but he's still great. And of course, you got Otani. You know, you're not going to pay these guys this amount of money and then say, okay, I think we've spent enough. Look, the Dodgers have a $7 billion TV contract. They sell out every night, they draw 4 million fans a season. They've got tons and tons of merchandise sales, not only in their stadium and throughout Southern California, but all over the United States and Japan. Now they're going to add Sasaki with Yamamoto and Otani. Look, everybody in in Japan is now diehard Dodger fans, okay? So this is going to be the rich getting richer this offseason. This is my prediction that all three of these players end up in a Dodger uniform. That is Roki Sasaki, Juan Soto, and Willie Adamas end up in Dodger uniforms. And I also believe that Garrett Crochet could end up with the Dodgers in a trade. Now, of the three players, Sasaki, Soto, and Adamas, I would say that Adamas is probably the most likely if he to sign maybe with another team. Soto, it's coming down to the Yankees, Mets, or Dodgers. And when it comes down to the end, I've seen how these things work. I, I could be completely wrong on this. Wouldn't be the first time. But I believe that when it comes down to it, negotiations get going, players talk, they meet, they see all the 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 hoopla, all the trophies, all the wine and dine. They see how the Dodger players are treated, how it's like family, and how that those veterans are. Look, the Dodgers were led last year by Freeman and Betts and Clayton Kershaw. Even though Kershaw didn't play, those veterans know how to win, and they motivated the the rest of the team. And when you see your stars, kind of like Steph Curry of the Golden State Warriors, when you see your star being your most your the guy that works the hardest, that's infectious. It's contagious. Okay. And Freddie Freeman, nobody works harder than Freddie Freeman. Nobody shows up to play more than Freddie Freeman, whether he's hurting or not. You know, we see guys all across baseball. Oh, I got a little twinge here, and they sit for three days. Not Freddie Freeman. The only reason Freddie Freeman sat when that high ankle sprain was because it was so severe and they'd already clinched the division at the end of the season. So they didn't take him to Colorado for the last three. Let him heal up for the for the playoffs. And you saw him miss a few games in the playoffs because it was just overbearing and it would have hurt the team in the long run. But Freddie Freeman, the guy shows up. He's a professional. Nobody is going to out-duel the Dodgers when it comes to professionalism. They've got three of the hardest workers and three of the greatest stars in the game in Otani, Betts, and Freeman. And you know what? You add Juan Soto to that, Juan Soto could bat cleanup. It, it, it's... It's it's amazing what what could happen in L.A. And as far as teams like the Giants, the San Francisco Giants, who you see over my right shoulder there, or this way, there's the standings of the National League West 
that just finished Dodgers, Padres, Diamondbacks, Giants, and the creams go orange there, and then the Rockies right below them. I think that's how the standings end up for the next year or two. Padres are a team to contend with. Padres are going to go after. Padres could even step in for the Soto sweepstakes, but he's already done that. Why not sign with the Dodgers? And, um, you know, he will be the longest tenured guy. He will be the last star standing, him and Otani. Okay. Freeman, three more years gone. Betts, three, four more years. <clears throat> then he becomes in his mid 30s. You've got to think long term. And there's no salary cap. And players like Juan Soto do not come around often at 26 years of age with superstardom. Okay. This guy is a generational talent, as is Shohei Otani, and they there's room for more. This is, you know, it's not the NFL where there's a hard salary cap or the NBA where there's prohibitive penalties. The Dodgers have all the money in the world, so look for the Dodgers to get one. Soto, Roki Sasaki, and Willie Adamas. That is my prediction. Guys, like and subscribe this video. Would appreciate you subscribe to the channel. Let us know your comments in the um, in the comments section. Would really appreciate that. Uh, we read the comments. We try to, you know, uh, get back to everybody as much as possible when we can. We put out a lot of videos, but please comment and subscribe to the channel. Tell us what you think of this video and uh, catch us Sunday night. We've got a lot going on with uh, tomorrow on Sunday. We've got San Francisco 49ers, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, a post-game show immediately following somewhere right around 1 o'clock. Just after 1 o'clock p.m. right here on NorCal Sports, 49ers, Tampa Bay, Bucks post game. Then we'll have a Golden State Warriors, Oklahoma City Thunder post game tomorrow night right around 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And then 8 o'clock, we will have the great Ned Coletti join us at 8 p.m. to discuss Major League Baseball winter signings, LA Dodgers, what he thinks they'll do, maybe what some of the other teams will do. So come back tomorrow. We've got three shows and you're not going to want to miss definitely any one of those, but the eight o'clock one with Ned Coletti will be very special. So thanks again for watching guys. Appreciate it. Let us know how you thought of the video. We'll see you tomorrow.